This is a quick video to show how to print a two-page opening um, pod book. Um, so what we're going to do is open, and we're going to do the A4 version. Um, so I'm going to open a project. So it's going to be the Australian version pod. And we'll start with the 40 page or 40 um, place. Okay, so a um, a full pot or a A4 piece of paper is um, 210 millimeters. That would be right about here um, across by 297 millimeters tall. So we have two pages two A4 pages side by side. So this should be 420 millimeters by 297. So let's go check our page size. If we go into page setup, we'll see it's 406 by 289. What we have to do, unfortunately, is we have to change this to 420 by 297. I'm gonna do that for the first few pages of the project here. So we're going to do the first five pages. I'll just do real quick five page setup for 20 to 97. And I've set my units to millimeters too. You can do that in the user settings file page setup. Oops, we got to open the page first. So 2A option opinions. Page setup for twenty by two ninety seven. Oops. Okay. And if you get tired of that getting in your way, you can pin it over off screen there. Um, fourth one is two B file page setup. Nice thing is once you've done this one time. Uh, you don't have to do it again to, for this book for 297. And we're going to do the fifth one, which is 3A, file, page setup, 420 by 297. OK. Now we're going to um, go back to the first page. We're going to look to see where the page break is. Now we can see halfway between 200 and 220 is right there. And that doesn't quite line up with my content. So I'm going to um, grab it all and use the right arrow key and move that till it's the gap is centered between 200 and 220. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do that for each page. Select a big box all the way around everything and right arrows. And the reason this is going to work is because we're going to print a PDF that has no margins. Um, here's the third one file. Uh, oops, I want to already did the page setup. So I want to grab all the contents and move them over. And two more. Grab all the contents. It works better going from the upper left for some reason. There we go. Um, arrow keys. Centered. And last one. Select all. Arrow over. Now at this point I've put a fair amount of work into it, so I'm going to do file, save all pages. Um, and now um, I want to say, um, Okay, so I've got those set up. Now if I do file, print project, and um, the, the key 
step here is I want to print a PDF and I have to choose my PDF paper size it has to be A4. And now it's two sheets of A4, so the A4 paper is portrait. So I choose portrait and I want actual size, so it prints, it doesn't enlarge or reduce it. And then I want to print partial pages because this second page over here is part of this first page. Now, um, because I've only done the first five pages, I'm going to do one through five here. The print preview doesn't work quite right. It only shows the left-hand pages. Um, that's being fixed. But you can see that the left-hand pages all line up nicely. Um, actual one through five, A4. Now I'll hit print. And it's going to come up and ask me to give it a name. So I'm going to say um, pod 40. And it's generating the pages. Now it's going to show 10 pages because it's printing all 10. And it went to 15 because um, it's off a little bit. Let me just see here what we did wrong. So here is the PDF. Oops. Clicked on the wrong thing. Here is the PDF. Um, let me size it to the window. Um, I'm going to look for fill one page. OK. So if I look at the first two pages, they're facing pages, and that worked fine. The third page is blank. That will happen sometimes. Um, I've been able to get rid of it in most cases, but occasionally you'll get blank third page. Fourth page is correct. Facing pages, and I'll have a blank page. And then this page is right. This page is right. Blank page. This page is right. This page is right. Blank page. Fifth page is right. Facing page is right. Um, so that's how you do it.